and welcome Pisces. I am Pisces Intuition here with your weekly reading. Alright, so Pisces, keep in mind this is a general reading, so not everything may resonate with your situation. And that's okay, just take what does and leave the rest. Um, Alright, Pisces, so we're going to be looking into when will they reach out, you know, if they will reach out, and uh, kind of what's going to happen from there. So, with that being said, um, this does not have to be someone from your past. You know, I'm fully aware that we are in Mercury Retrograde. Um, you know, so it, it definitely could be. I'm not going to discount that. Uh, however, this can be, you know, someone who just has a secret crush on you, who's like a secret admirer. You know, maybe you kind of feel like that, you know, like, hmm, he's been flirting with me or she's been flirting with me. You know, they've been flirting with me. Um, you know, however, but it, this does not have to be, like I said, just someone from your past. It could even be someone that you are currently talking to. You know, they're just not like fully opening up to you. So... All right, Pisces. So like I said, don't just, you know, look at the title and think, oh, great, someone from my past. No, <laughs> this could be. And, and I've actually had quite a few different situations. So taking place here for all the signs. Wow, Pisces. Okay. Um, bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Swords. All right. So Pisces, you're kind of showing up a little bit, um, kind of like make one wrong move and I will cut you from my life. <laughs> um, you're, you're just kind of showing up a little bit authoritative, you know, uh, kind of showing up like a boss here. Like I know my worth and you know, um, I'm not going to settle for anything less type of type of situation. We have three of cups. We have the queen of cups. We have 10 of cups and we have the king of wands. So I feel like, you know, you kind of got your guard up. Maybe this person is a real smooth talker. Maybe you've dealt with this person, you know, before. So this could very very well be someone from your past. <laughs> um, this could be someone from your past. Like I said, someone that you've dealt with before. Um, this could also be just kind of a secret admirer. Maybe this, this person kind of has a history of being a little bit of a playboy. Um, kind of like, you know, playing the field, just being a very smooth talker, very charismatic. But I do feel like, you know, for some of you, this is talking about, like I said, reconciliation. Um, I do feel like there's chemistry between you and this person. I also feel like there's a lot of feelings on both sides. Um, there's a lot of happiness when the two of you are together, feeling very content, feeling a lot of emotional bliss. But for some reason, there's also some trust issues. And I don't know if it's because, like I said, this person may have possibly a colorful um, relationship history, or maybe because this person, like I said, it's someone from your past. And so maybe, you know... You're just kind of like, you know, having trust issues from the past. Um, we're definitely going to get into it, but that's kind of what I'm getting so far. So let's clarify that three of cups. Ace of cups. Wow. So there's definitely some chemistry, definitely an attraction, um, unconditional love here between the two of you. And it feels like you want to start over. You want a new beginning. There's that world card. So you, you want to start new. Ace of pentacles. <laughs> wow. Okay, Pisces. Um, you want to rebuild, you know, you're seeing new opportunity. You're seeing, you know, again, a chance to rebuild, a chance to start over, a chance to revive all those feelings, a chance to, uh, you know, again, I keep getting new, new beginning, fresh beginning, rebuild, but I keep getting in a better direction in a good direction this time. And like I said, it kind of feels like there's trust issues from the past. This could even, this doesn't even have to be or pertain to this person. This could be because of past relationships. It's kind of like, that's why my guard is up because I know my worth and I'm just, I'm not going to settle. You know, that's why my guard is up. So, you know, again, that's what it could be coming across as as well. Uh, clarifying that queen of cups for me. Clarifying the queen of cups for Pisces, please. Ooh, we have the lovers, we have the two of wands, we have the page of cups. So there could be a little bit of an age difference between you and this person. Um, I'm definitely feeling, like I said, the chemistry, the strong connection, um, intuitive connection. It's it's like those those connections where you just kind of look at that person. And, you know, Pisces, you're already very, you know, very intuitive. So, um, you know, I get that. But it's like when you look at this person, you just kind of know what they're thinking, kind of know what they're feeling. They don't have to say anything, but it's still nice to be heard, you know, and still you still want them to say it, of course. <laughs> um 
But I do get, again, kind of starting over. I get curiosity. I get wanting to explore things, wanting to start this over, explore feelings, you know, um, relighting kind of that spark. I know it's a page of cups, but I'm also getting a lot of fire, a lot of passion. Like I said, that chemistry here, um, especially with that lover's card being here. Two of wands is also here. So for some reason, we're needing to make a choice. And I feel like this is a choice because it kind of feels like maybe that's why the, the trust issues are kind of coming up because maybe this person hasn't always been open with you in the past. They haven't always opened up and express their feelings to you in the past. Um, it kind of feels like maybe, you know, again, this person has possibly ran away or tried to ignore their emotions that they have for you. And so, you know, again, that's maybe what happened the first time, or I'm not even going to say the first time, but in the past. So with that being said, it kind of feels like that's where we are. It's like we have this intense connection, but I don't want you to run away from it again. So now I'm trying to decide, do I want to put my heart on the line? Because it's already there. You know, so do I really want to take this chance or do I just want to show up guarded? But like I said, with that page of cups, there's that I want to explore. I want to see where this can go. This is awaking some passion. Okay, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, but like I said, there is definitely a need to, or not a need, but a want to kind of explore this connection. Three of Wands, yeah, I feel like somebody's waiting. I feel like they're kind of being cautious. It kind of feels like it's you, Pisces. It could be them. Um, Four of Wands, you know, I keep getting wanting to build. Again, I keep getting that intense connection here. Um, I do get like a foundation, trying to strengthen the foundation. Yeah, with the Eight of Pentacles, this person wants to put work in. So again, maybe in the past, that's where it was kind of faltered. Maybe that's where... There was, you know, um, that's why the trust issues are here because they didn't put work in, but it's like they want to put work in. I feel like, you know, again, you're kind of waiting to see, you're kind of waiting to, you know, it's like, okay, you talk a good game, but I need to see action behind these words. I need to see, I need you to prove it to me to kind of show that, you know, this is different. Like you do want this. And I feel like that's what they're going to do, Pisces, because they do. Uh, Ten of Cups, you know, like I said, that's emotional bliss. That's a whole lot of contentment, a whole lot of happiness, a whole lot of I want this, Pisces. And like I said, I really feel like, you know, you, you want the same thing. And I feel like both of you, um, I keep getting reciprocity. I feel like both of you are ready to put in the work, but I do get a little bit of patience. So Pisces, I keep getting something about the, the end of this month, possibly next month. Um, hmm. Ace of wands. So we have the Ace of Wands. Okay, no, that was Cups and Pentacles. Okay. Clarifying that King of Wands, we have the Ace of Wands. We have the Moon card and we have the Ten of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Wands. So yes, I do feel like this person is going to be opening up. This person is going to be reaching out. Um, I do feel like this person does want to fix things with you. I feel like what's kind of overwhelming about this is because they're used to kind of hiding their, their emotions, their feelings. I'm um, again, possibly kind of running away from it, but at the same time, they can't deny the connection. They can't deny how they're feeling, you know? So it's, it's kind of like, you know, um, a little bit of a conundrum in a way. Hmm. I do feel like, you know, this is kind of a heavy burden. Um, like, it, I don't know how this is coming across. It's almost kind of like, um, like, I want to try this time. Like, I, you know, I want to be, I keep getting like open and honest. I keep, you know, getting like, I'm wanting to try new beginnings. Hmm. Yeah, I keep getting like new beginnings. I keep getting that fire, um, that passion. But there's still a little bit of fear, but it's kind of like we'll get past that in time. But to answer the question, you know, Pisces, are you waiting for nothing? You know, is this person going to open up? Yes, you're not waiting for nothing. Um, I do feel like you, you, there needs to be a little bit of patience, of course. Um, but I do feel like this person is ready to put work in. I do feel like this person does want to open up. So, so yeah, um, hmm, very interesting. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get some Oracle cards here for Pisces. 
Yeah, Pisces, I'm seeing some loving communication definitely headed your way. One more, please. All right. Bottom of the deck, we have transmission. So spreading of conditions, influence, and impact. So, you know, again, I do feel like this is also kind of talking about going places, kind of like moving forward, almost kind of like the chariot card. I do feel progress. I do feel like, you know, um, you know, again, I, I keep getting like the past kind of having an influence on the present, you know, by causing a little bit of uncertainty, a little bit of worry, a little bit of fear. But I also feel like there's, we can get past that, you know. Um, we also have thirst here. So craving, compulsion, obsession. So like I said, there's an intense connection here. Um, I don't see it getting to the point of obsession on either part. But I do feel like there's a strong kind of craving for each other. Um, physically, emotionally, just kind of like, you know, I want you, I need you. Like, you know, Pisces, like this isn't just going away. I couldn't just walk away from the connection because I've been thinking about you ever since, you know, like I regret, you know, leaving this. All right. With this next card, it's talking about, and there goes the train <laughs> again, possibly coming back unexpectedly. Okay. <laughs> We have madness, we have ecstatic ritual, we have energy release. So, you know, again, I do feel, I feel you kind of like asking yourself, like, am I crazy? You're kind of thinking like, I'm, I'm crazy to do this again. I'm crazy to go through this because it kind of hurt the first time around or in the past. Yeah, I'm not going to say first time. I keep slipping up. Um, but in the past, but it's, again, it's kind of accepting like, you know what, maybe this can be different. You know, I keep getting, again, there's, there's something here that's, there's just like a pull, you know, back to this person. It's like, you just kind of found your way back to them or they found their way back to you. But this is happening for a reason, Pisces. Um, we also have outsider, so misfit, loner, wanderer. So this would kind of be like an opposites attract, or this could be someone that normally you wouldn't be attracted to. Maybe this person's not your usual type. You know, there's something different about this person. Maybe this person is a little bit of a rule breaker, um, a little bit of, you know, again, someone different than what you're used to, uh, kind of your usual type, your, you know, usual person that you usually kind of date, things like that. Um, I also feel like this person is kind of private, or, you know, again, this could be you, Pisces, take it how, you know, it's resonating. Um, but wanderer, it kind of feels like this person is a little bit, um, lacking like security. Um, and maybe that, again, that's, that has to deal with the trust issues in the past. Um, that's why that's here because this person is a little bit of a wanderer. And so you're kind of like, you know, are you going to stick around this time? Or are we going to be able to build this time? You know, are you going to be able to open up to me this time? Or are you just going to kind of ignore your feelings and run away? Or, you know, not open up, not express that to me. So like I said, there's some worries, there's some concerns, some fears, but I feel like you're going to work through them together. I do feel like this person is going to be opening up. So, yeah. I just, I keep getting like there's something different about this person because I kind of feel like you wouldn't waste your time on just anybody, Pisces. It feels like patience is running thin. <laughs> And here I am telling you this entire time, like just a little bit of patience, Pisces. Um, <laughs> so spring, I feel like this person could have possibly contacted you in spring or something happened in spring. Um, spring also represents new beginnings. So it doesn't necessarily have to be like the season. It could just be, like I said, representing new beginnings between you and this person kind of starting over, kind of, like I said, replanting, rebuilding. Okay, bottom of the deck, it's time to take action. Okay, so like I said, um, I'm getting more with spring, new beginnings, patience is running thin. Like I said, I do kind of feel that Pisces, like maybe, you know, your patience is kind of running a little bit thin. Um, we also have a few more that came out. We have not right now. So like I said, I feel like that's because a little bit of patience is actually still needed in this situation. So try not to rush things. Try not to get too impatient or try not to just throw your hands up in the air and be like, I'm done. You know, no, trust me, it's going to be worth waiting for. Can we pick up where we left off? 
you know, can we, we still have that spark here, Pisces. Do we have to let it all end? You know, we can kind of pick up where we left off, but rebuild and make it better. Um, January is here again. This could be because it's, you know, going to be a new year, a new month. This could actually be referring to, you know, January, or this could be saying again, kind of much like spring, like the start of something new, kind of a new year, new beginning, you know, so things, like I said, may not happen right away. It feels like there's some time that's needed, but I still feel like things are going to be moving are going to be progressing. So, all right. Well, Pisces, that is what I have for you. So hopefully this helps. I do appreciate each and every one of you guys for watching. Um, hopefully you have a great rest of your week. As always, take care and stay spooky.